What's up everyone? So time for your channel updates. I know a lot of you guys have had questions as to uh, what's going to be coming up and also where hell is the footage, right? Because there hasn't been any activity on the channel lately and I'm going to explain that in just a little bit, alright? But anyway, let's get right to it. Uh, the recap of what happened last week. Basically, I uh, posted up uh, Infamous 2 UGC uh, footage for you guys, the missions. Um, I had a lot of fun playing a lot of, mis uh, a lot of you guys' missions. Uh, you guys... I was really surprised at the activity because I thought it was going to be, you know, like 15, 20 missions. I really didn't think a lot of people were going to be, you know, submitting missions. I got like, it, it was crazy. I, I must have done like maybe, maybe 40 or something like that. I'm really not sure, but like in one day I got like 30. It was crazy. Um, but I went ahead and uh, did that. Had a lot of fun. Uh, I want to do another special thank you to uh, XX Colmograph XX who actually uh, posted up uh, something in the uh, Infamous 2 uh, forums, basically telling people, you know, if, if they want me to play the missions, they can go ahead and uh, submit it to me. So thanks uh, for spreading the word about that, uh, XX Colmograph. I really appreciate that. And if you're a new subscriber from the forums, you know, welcome. Uh, glad you can have, glad I can have you here, and I uh, yeah, hope you enjoy all the footage, right? But anyway, uh, yeah. They, that's all I did basically. I was just playing you guys' missions, didn't do really much. Uh, I think I did some um, Fear 3 multiplayer gameplay, but... Or did I already talk about that? I'm not really sure. But anyway, I posted up some of that. Uh, really boring multiplayer. I'm not feeling the multiplayer at all. And to be honest, um, I'm really not sure if I should keep the game or not. I still want to play with, you know, a couple of people on YouTube, but I really don't know if you guys are going to see more footage of that. I mean, if I get into a game, if I do some, like, co-op gameplay with, like, you know, I don't know, GoPerverter or someone else who has the game, I'll go ahead and do some, you know, uh, co-op gameplay and footage and go ahead and upload that. But as a, just playing by yourself, I mean, the campaign's okay, the multiplayer's just okay, it's just an okay average game, uh, like I said. And um, I don't think that I'm going to ever be playing the multiplayer again by myself. So don't expect any more footage of that unless it's co-op gameplay uh, with someone else, all right? But I did that, posted up only one video because I was bored. But anyway, yeah, I posted up the Call of Horror as uh, the cartel unboxing from Gamefly. Kind of funny, I beat the campaign that same day. So the campaign's like six hours. I mean, people say it's like a four hour campaign. It's not really a four hour campaign. It was more like a six hour, six to eight hour campaign. I really don't know. I, w I must have been jamming because I beat the game like that. I beat it, you know, within the same day I actually started it. So, <sighs> yeah. Uh, it was an okay game, actually. You know, a lot of people are saying it's bad. I didn't give it a 4.5, which is horrible. But anyway, I the campaign was just... It was actually not that bad. You know, it has good set pieces. It has really good set pieces. It looks like you're... Uh, you know, the levels and stuff, you can tell it was, like, pulled out straight from an action movie, or that's what they were trying to accomplish. I mean, but I want to go ahead and do, like, an impressions video, maybe like this. I just don't know if people are going to be interested in seeing that. So, from now on, all the future games that I play, after I beat them, I'll go ahead and try to do an impressions video like this, where I'm just talking to the camera. Poss probably won't be gameplay. I'm probably just going to be talking like this and, you know, talking about the game and just upload it directly. But anyway, just to put out my thoughts and stuff that you guys may have have questions about the game but anyway pretty solid campaign though it's not that bad um the multiplayer is actually not that bad either it's like cops it's like cops and robbers sort of so i want to still do multiplayer gameplay of that so expect that um very soon all right i'm i still need to go ahead and record it i've been kind of like away uh from the channel i know i haven't been um i haven't actually been officially signed in for like three days maybe no probably two days but anyway, uh, yeah, don't worry. I'm still, you know, spectating around on YouTube and stuff like that. So uh, definitely, uh, there's going to be more footage definitely this week, all right? Uh, but anyway, I'm going to be going out of town on Wednesday, all right? So that means that there is a time extension for you guys to do your Infamous 2 UGC uh, missions, all right? So if you're still working on missions and you're like, okay, i got to hurry up and get this done because he's going to be playing uh, my missions on Wednesday, he's going to start again. No, you guys have another week starting today so if you guys are creating like a three-part mission like uh, I am with Cole's Deception then go ahead and uh, you know try to do the other parts and stuff to try to get that up so um but I'm enjoying you guys' missions I'm having a lot of fun with them and I'm um, getting a lot of uh, great requests and stuff like that so don't worry uh, 
for those of you guys who just send me the, the mission ULR or URL, um, I go, I just, what I directly do is once I get the message, I immediately just add it to my queue, all right? So don't worry. Don't message me back. Did you get my mission? Did you get my mission? If I didn't message you back with a problem, meaning if I didn't message you back and say, hey, can you resend me the URL because it says the game data is currently unavailable. If I didn't send that to you, then it means I got it. All right. I'm going to try, I'm going to try to go ahead and, uh, go ahead and tell you guys that there's a problem, of course, you know, because a lot of people are sending me, uh, you know, their URLs and I'm basically, uh, you know, copying and pasting them and it says game data is currently unavailable. And it kind of sucks because I'm trying it like I'm trying to refresh it and everything, and then I have to send the person back a message basically saying, "Can you resend me the URL?" And no one wants to go back to the same web page again and then resend the URL. It sucks. But anyway, if I didn't send you back one of those messages, like resend me the link, then that means I already got it and it's in my queue and you're good. All right. Uh, but anyway, there's that. Uh, Update on Cole's Deception. I'm, I'm like I said, I'm gonna be trying to do Cole's Deception Part Three. Try to get that up before uh, mid-August, so expect that. Actually, um, I, the, it's kind of weird. Um, well, it's kind of cool. I found an easier way to do uh, my missions to make them faster since, you know, my missions are heavily based on dialogue, right? Um, there's a lot of talking involved. So I went ahead and uh, for the first time, I went ahead and I connected up a USB keyboard to my PS3 and I was able to, you know, reduce the time like by a lot. I mean, I was just like, you know, typing out the stuff and it actually works really well. So, uh, I'm going to be starting to do that with all my, uh, infamous two, uh, missions I create, um, you know, like Cole's Deception and possibly others if I have like a different, um, you know, approach or different, uh, maybe storyline or something like that. I'll go ahead and try to, uh, use the USB keyboard, all right? Because I bought the, I bought that stupid keyboard for your, uh, your PS3 controller, the one that hooks on. I bought that because I got a good deal at Target. I think I got it for like $30. But anyway, um, and that, that just wasn't cutting it because the keys are like this small. They're literally microscopic. And you, you know, I'm sorry, like I, I can probably press like three buttons with my one finger at the time. So I have to constantly like, you know, just make sure it's just uncomfortable, all right? So I went ahead and connected up my USB keyboard and it worked like a charm, all right? It was really good. So. Don't ex I expect Cold Deception Part 3 to be up uh, before mid-August, all right? Somewhere around there. Um, but, yeah. Uh, a little bit of announcements. Uh, oh, first of all, Child of Eden, the Hope gameplay. I haven't beat it yet. However, I did record a video. It was just a video. But I'm going to go ahead and start uh, doing that uh, later today and tomorrow. Through the course of today and tomorrow, I'm going to be recording just basically every second I have free, you know, I'm going to try to go ahead and uh, do as much content as I can. I definitely want to post up some Call of Forest Cartel multiplayer gameplay. Don't know how much I want to do, but I've been playing the multiplayer. I played, I've played. i been playing it like here and there. It's actually not that bad, you know, it's actually pretty good. Um, but it's nothing I think I'd get too competitive in, you know, there's a little bit of lag in there, but it's pretty cool how you drive to a sort of a uh, place and you, uh, there's like different objectives, you know. Um, but go ahead and expect footage of that, and then shall to be in Hope. I don't know if I'm going to beat Hope. I really don't know. Um, it's getting really hard. I get to level 6, and I just completely flunk out. Like, I just completely ruin myself for numbers, uh, for level 6, so. What are you going to do? You keep trying until you beat it, I guess, right? Um, but go ahead. Just expect footage about those two games uh, coming up. But anyway, I'm, yeah, like I said, I'm going out of town on Wednesday to Saturday. Um, not going to be uh, on online. So you guys have a time extension for your infamous UGC footage. So as far as announcements goes, um, I'm gonna. I decided actually, and this is good news. Uh, I have decided that uh, for every single game I purchase, I'm gonna be doing a playthrough of. All right. A lot of you guys have uh, actually liked uh, or have been requesting some playthroughs that I do of games uh, and stuff. And I know they may not get exactly the views that I want them to, but I think um, for those of you guys who do enjoy the uh, the playthroughs and stuff, it'll be great. So the next definite playthrough you guys are going to be seeing is Deus Ex Human Revolution, all right? And um, I went ahead and got the augmented edition of the game. If you guys, I'm still getting questions about what games are you gonna be purchasing and so on and so forth. I'll go ahead and mention it again in this video since a lot of you guys may have not have watched the channel update or may have got like new subscribers and they're wondering. For this, just a reminder, for all of you guys who are wondering what games I'm gonna be playing next, like definitely next, in the channel description where it says coming soon, I list the next three games that, are, that I'm going to be try, go ahead and playing. So I believe there's Deus Ex, Body Count, and uh, Driver San Francisco on there. 
but Jairo San Francisco, that comes out on the 6th of September, and that's a triple release day. We have Resistance 3 and also Dead Island that day. So I really don't know which one I want to play first. Not that I'm not really that excited about Resistance 3, but I'm not that excited about Driver San Francisco either. So more than likely, I'm going to, be try to, I'm going to go ahead and try to play uh, Dead Island first, and then go ahead and try to do, you know, uh, Resistance 3, then Driver San Francisco. But, uh, yeah, in the channel description where it says coming soon, those are, I list the next three games I'm playing definitely. And also, in the, in the event dates, you know, down there, uh, right beside the channel description, I list, you know, what videos are going to be coming up and what uh, day they're going to be coming up. So, there's just, uh, there's footage for you guys and there's, like, information that you guys can find out what's going to be coming up, you know, stuff that's going to help you, uh, find out what's coming up. So, there's that, uh, yeah. The games I'm getting this year, Deus Ex, Human Revolution, the Augmented Edition on the PS3, that's pre-ordered and paid for on Amazon. Gears of War 3, the regular edition, I was going to get the limited edition, but it doesn't come with anything that I think is going to be worth $80, alright, so I'm not really looking forward, I'm not, I just canceled my pre-order on limited edition and just got the regular edition, so, you know, what are you going to do? Uh, so, getting the regular edition of that, that's an Xbox 360 exclusive. Um, Rage, really, I'm really excited for Rage, so I had that pre-ordered on, on the uh, Xbox 360, and I get a uh, instant upgrade to the Anarchy Edition, I believe, so that's going to be cool. I get some extra stuff, It's I don't think it's really like a special edition, but you get some extra stuff there. Um, Forza Motorsport 4, I'm still playing a game to game, I'm not, I don't know if I'm going to pre-order it, I probably won't. I'm going to try to get the game early. Um, I'm going to try to get it at, at least like a week early. Something like I did with Crisis. If I can uh, try to do some, you know, searching around and try to get it early, that would be great. I'm going to try to get the limited edition of it, though, since if they don't have the limited edition early, then fuck it. I'm just going to go ahead and get the regular edition because it's the limited edition is like $80 and it comes with exclusive cars and some stuff like that. But not really, uh, I really don't think it's going to be, you know, that big of a deal to me. I'm just going to try to get the game early, alright? And whatever edition that they have there, I'll go ahead and just buy. So, but, um, expect, uh, I'm definitely going to get that game expected of me to do that. Um, Batman Arkham uh, City, went ahead and already procured that from Best Buy last week. So, um, I went ahead and uh, did that. And I, uh... I pre yeah, I pre-ordered um, just a regular edition. I, I didn't want to do the collector's edition um, because it's just it's a hundred dollars, and I have I, all these other games I'm buying. I really don't want to make sh you know cut costs. I don't want to have to uh, basically say okay, I'm gonna have this. I want to try to squeeze in you know a hundred dollars into my uh, my budget here. I don't have a budget, but <laughs> but um. You know, it is it is my money, and I'm thinking I'm pouring a lot of it into uh, video games this year. And this year is like the hev the most probably the most busiest year ever. So uh, I'm not I'm gonna be trying to you know at the same time I want to get these uh, you know games and stuff, but I want to make sure I still have some cash left over. You know, I don't want to be homeless by the time I purchased uh, every single game. So there's that. Pre-ordered uh, that on the PS3. All right, so expect me to do a playthrough of that. Uh, Battlefield 3, that's pre-ordered on the PS3. Uh, Uncharted 3, the collector's edition, that's pre-ordered, and that's a PS3 exclusive. And then Modern Warfare 3, that's pre-ordered on the Xbox 360. So, lots and lots of games. All right, um, those are the games I'm going to be. Those are the games I'm per definitely purchasing. Um, there's, there's some connect titles like I'm going to see about Dance Central 2. Um, I still have the regular Dance Central, but Dance Central 2, I'm looking forward to, um, should be a, should be a fun party game, you know, but I like Dance Central, and I think I'm gonna go ahead and purchase Dance Central 2, it looks, uh, it looks pretty good, and you know, it's more of the same, so, those are all the, well, Assassin's Creed, uh, Revelations, and Need for Speed, The Run, I'm gonna try to get those for Christmas, you know, something like that, so, just, uh, I'm not gonna try to, just don't expect those games to have, like, immediate footage when it comes out. Since I'm probably going to be stuck doing multiplayer gameplay of Battlefield 3, um, Modern Warfare 3, and Uncharted 3. Those are probably the three games I'm going to be doing a multiplayer footage of a lot during those uh, the, during the course of those months when it comes out. So, expect that. But anyway, 
I think that about cuts it, alright? So the next playthrough you guys are definitely going to see is Deus Ex Human Revolution, alright? And now I go back to school on um, August 15th, alright? I know, I just got out, right? But anyway, I go back to school on August 15th, so expect, expect me to not be online as much since, you know, I have other stuff to worry about, um, you know, my edu- I'm sorry, but I have- my education matters more to me than my, uh, than the video games, and video games can wait anyway. But anyway, um, uh, what was I gonna say? Yeah, as far as Deus Ex goes, I might- I might not be able to sink as much time into that game as I wanted to previously. That's gonna be like a 25 to 40 hour game. I'm gonna have to be playing that a lot. And I'm probably gonna be po I'm probably gonna be pouring like about an hour and a half, two hours into it, uh, you know, on a weekday, or possibly I think I might pour like at maybe six hours into it a week. It depends on how how busy I'm going to be. But lots and lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of games. All right, and lots of uh, other stuff that's going up. I mean. I'm going to be pretty much swamped. I'm going to try to stay cool, though. I'm not going to try to uh, be all stressed out about it. But, um, Deus Ex Human Revolution playthrough of that is coming up uh, when the game comes out, of course. And, yeah, I believe that's about it. Alright, so, quick recap, everyone. Going to be going out of town Wednesday to Saturday. It's only half of the week, don't worry. They have Wi-Fi there, so if you guys want to contact me and ask me, uh, just say, you know, what's up or anything. Go ahead and send me a PM. I'll be uh, sure to send you a message back. And, um, yeah, that's what it's going to be coming up, right? So, next week, um, well, next, after this video, you guys are going to be seeing, um, Call of Wars, the Cartel multiplayer gameplay, and the Child of Eden gameplay. Going to try to beat it. I probably won't be beating it. I'll probably be doing more Call of Wars, the Cartel multiplayer gameplay, if anything. Um, but I really don't know. I mean, there's not. I have nothing coming out from Gamefly. Oh, there's one more release this week too. Um, Catherine. That's coming out on Tuesday. I made a mistake last week when saying Catherine was going to be coming out that week. Catherine doesn't come out that week. It comes out this week. All right, comes out on Tuesday. I'm not going to be playing that. I already said that. But um, uh, what was I saying? I completely just lost it. All right. Go ahead and uh, go ahead and um. You know, just, uh, I'll talk to you guys later, alright, and I'll send you, um, you know, send me a message if you guys want to talk to me, and I will, yeah, see you then, alright, so, have a good day, guys, and I expect Call of Hearts, the Cartel Multiplayer Gameplay, coming up after this, along with Child of Eden.